It's dirt from the Nato Saga. So this is just from the river? When we're talking about cells, we're actually going to do an experiment on our desk. We're going to start out with just a few grains of yeast and you're going to watch it multiply. And you should start to see it actually splitting. Now once it starts to split, you'll actually start to see it grow a tiny bit. And it's actually starting to divide. Aqua operators have been going into classrooms for over 20 years. Water education is something that our agency and that water operators personally feel really connected to. We worked with curriculum developers, teachers, our own aqua operators from across the province, and they worked together to come up with materials and hands-on activities, but also provide them with information about how they could take action, so things that they could do in their daily lives that could make a difference to the environment. It's great to see that the kids are hearing from the professionals how they treat the water, seeing what is happening in our city and our water systems and what they should and shouldn't do. And it's an eye-opener for some of them. They're actually starting. Oh, yeah. They are, yes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, they're all splitting now. You can carefully pour that into your container. Yeah, My favorite part about going into a classroom is actually seeing the light bulbs come on. Sort of, um, I really enjoy being able to teach and to capture people's interest. It's spinning and it's creating its own like vortex. So I'm gonna add one, two. The aqua operator helped me learn what I learned today by fully and thoroughly explaining what we were doing and what was happening. He wasn't just using big words we didn't understand. He was explaining it to us and telling us what was right and what was wrong. This is treated water. This is what comes in the door and this is what leaves. One thing I'll remember the most is probably just the hands-on experiments, being able to like try stuff. When we uh, cleaned out the water just by ourselves, I thought that was really cool and I really enjoyed that. The amount of information is heavy, but they retain it because it's so hands-on and so well laid out by the aqua program. Something I would do differently after today would probably be watching what I put down the drains and what gets flushed and what doesn't. I want wastewater and I learned not to flush like baby wipes and certain stuff down the toilet, to not put like bacon grease and fat down the toilet because it clogs the systems and the drains and it causes issues and then you have to take it out. We are now going to look at bugs. But remember, these are really, really tiny. I didn't really know there was like that many germs in like the water before it was cleaned, I guess. And it was really weird and cool and gross and fun. They can go home, they can tell their family, they can tell their friends, and they can teach the next generation when they're older, and uh, they could also be the next generation of operators taking care of the water themselves. You just put four drops into this one. I really like to uh, see all the smiles on the kids' faces when they see us come and, and learn about water and wastewater. Uh, yeah, it's a great thing to do with the community. We need to know about our world and what's changing. Obviously, we're getting older and graduating. The older people are retiring, and we have to be next to step up. 